hardest thing was seeing the end of the growing season and the upcoming snow going to be flying around us at the house is sitting there wanting to do some gardening but we can't because of the beautiful snow that is around us. But we do have a few options that we can do some cultivation in the house and one of them is mushroom production and we get questions every year regarding can I eat this mushroom, is this mushroom safe and different components like this. Well with indoor mushroom cultivation we know the mushrooms are pure and they're what they're supposed to be so we don't have to worry about any identification issues or anything like that um, to be concerned about with poisoning and different components like that. The other great thing with indoor mushroom production is you're able to see this bag of slimy goo almost turn into this beautiful production of mushrooms and there's a wide variety of different mushrooms that we can grow in the house. One company and then there's several companies available uh, you can just google for indoor mushroom cultivation or production. Uh, one company named Fungi Perfecti, which is fungi.com, provides you to buy these indoor kits and you can raise them in the house. The big thing with these kits is you need to follow the instructions that come very clearly with them and as you look at the production and the types of mushrooms that you can pick from, everything from pearl oysters to shiitake mushrooms, which is very common in, in several of our oriental dishes, it gives you precise instructions on what we're supposed to do and how to get these to grow. What's the temperature we need, how much humidity we need, and different components like that. As we're setting up these mushroom kits, as I stated, the instructions are well with it, but if you're using <clears throat> coffee grounds, you can also use corrugated cardboard. You're just going to rip that cardboard up, those coffee grounds, and put it into a bucket. You want to make sure you keep every layer wet and you're going to add a little bit of that mycelia spawn or mushroom spawn to each layer to allow the mushrooms to colonize and to grow. There's a lot of them that come into a bag and all you're going to end up doing with those bags is you're going to add skewers onto the top of it and then you're going to add what they call a humidity tent which is just a plastic bag that you sit over the top that helps keep the moisture in there, really promotes those mushrooms to grow and get those beautiful fruits that we're actually looking for. There's even a few kits that we can do recycling in our own house. If you're a big coffee drinker you can recycle those coffee grounds, those coffee filters, put the mushroom production in there and the mushrooms are going to be able to eat off of that coffee grounds and then produce these beautiful mushrooms. Most mushrooms can take anywhere from a week up to 21 days before we actually get our first flush or first production of mushrooms. The other thing is once we've got that first flush we let them sit for a while and then we can get a second production of mushrooms to come off of them also. Once those mushrooms are completely done the best thing to do is you can take this beautiful mycelium out of mushroom and you can throw it into your compost pile. By adding that mycelium into your compost pile, you're providing more microorganisms that are able to break down all that organic matter and give us that beautiful compost that we're wanting next spring and next summer to be added to our garden and to our landscape beds to get those beautiful colors and vegetation that we're looking for. The great thing with these mushrooms are they're fun to watch to grow. We've got different types of mushrooms to look for. They're great for the kids in your family to also watch to see how the production goes. So if you're interested in mushroom production, definitely do some Google searching for some indoor mushroom cultivation and give it a try this winter when that snow's blowing and you're really wanting to grow something in your yard.